All right, as we continue through the core rulebook, uh, reviewing our uh, general strategies that everyone has access to, uh, the next couple are going to be, I think, pretty popular. Um, obviously, we're going to do the command reroll first, which is likely to be the most stratagem of all of them. It has always been in the past, and while we may see some amount of change here, as there are some pretty valuable stratagems um, besides this one, uh, I think it is still likely to be the most used. So, uh, this is a stratum that can be used in any phase, and you're allowed to re-roll a hit, wound, damage roll, uh, saving throw, advance, charge, desperate escape, hazardous, or re-roll any uh, to determine the number of attacks for a model or unit. Um, so, the, as far as going over the stratagem itself here, as you get to re-roll that tester save and uh as we talked about before when it comes to re-rolls uh like number of shots or charge rolls because we're adding those numbers together when we go to re-roll we have to re-roll all of the dice that determine that number we can't just you know make a charge roll of one and six and decide to just one we have to re-roll both dice and hope for a better result um there are no uh restrictions on this however i would like to point out there's a restriction on all stratagems that uh, you can only use them once per phase, regardless of how many command points you have. Um, and we might as well remind everyone that uh, if a unit is battle shocked, they cannot be targeted with a stratagem. Um, however, the note here that this isn't really targeting a unit. So even if a unit is battle shocked, you should be able to re roll. Uh, a hit roll or something like that, because if we're targeting anything, we're targeting the dice themselves, which is a weird uh, rules interaction. One of the other things that's pretty weird about the way they've worded this um, that I want to point out, and this part I will say is more my interpretation. Uh, it is a little unclear, but because they put this wording in is why I point it out. When they talk about re-rolling number of attacks for a model or unit, this makes it sound like when you ro uh, use this stratagem, well, not, not when you use the stratagem, but when you're rolling for the number of attacks for a gun, uh, Luda's is a great example. If the whole unit has the same gun, this kind of implies that they might be wanting you to roll a single die for the number of attacks for the gun to have that apply to all of the gun unit. That is just an interpretation. It is not clear one way or another. But in the previous wordings, um, they have not really determined uh, or have said to determine the number of attacks for a unit uh, in the past, as far as I remember. So maybe that's them hitting, hinting at um, they want us to re-roll or roll one die all the attacks for that weapon type amongst the unit. Uh, but maybe not. We'll see how some uh, events decide to rule it themselves or maybe get a... FAQ kind of clarifying that at some point. Uh, so real quick, we'll move on down to the next stratagem. Uh, so that one's called Grenade. This is a bit of an odd one. Well, uh, so this is in your shooting phase, a unit that has not shot yet that phase with the grenade keyword. Um, it also can't be engaged. So normally with big guns never tire and stuff like that, we would um, potentially shoot, but this is specifically, even if we could shoot uh, with a grenade unit, have to not be engaged to use the stratagem. So you select one enemy unit that's within eight inches of the grenade unit and visible, which is important. have to be able to see it. Um, you're going to roll 6d6 for each 4 plus, that's per die, uh, the enemy unit is going to suffer a single mortal wound. Now, the fact that the target uh, part of this stratagem says that a unit that has not shot this phase, it really implies that this stratagem is basically using it instead of their shooting. However, there are no restrictions currently. So, as written, uh, though I don't think intended, is that you could use the grenade stratagem and then shoot afterwards, because it's not saying you can't shoot after using the stratagem. Again, I really think it's intended that if you use the stratagem, you get afterwards because it's instead. Um, and I kind of 
expect there to be an FAQ or errata uh, clearing this up at some point when we get our other initial kind of fixes right at the beginning. But for the time being, it doesn't say that. So depending on how you and your opponent decide to rule that, uh, you may be able to get away with doing both. Any questions on these two guys? Because they're both have some interactions or unclear parts about them. No, I think it's pretty straightforward. Um... Grenades will be interesting. I mean, it's an average of like three mortal wounds. It might be. Yep. It it sounds sort of funny, but it might be a good way to kill characters, like the lower level characters. Mm hmm. Because it can almost become like a smite at a certain point. Yep. And as we'll see in later stratagems, certain stratagems do have a cap for mortal wounds. This one doesn't. Now, it is capped by the number of dice you're rolling because it's flat six, and there's no real way to change that, uh, at least as far as we know. Rulebook right now, maybe there'll be abilities later. Uh, but So it is kind of capped at six, but there's no additional restriction basically saying that, you know, max four or something like that, uh, like we'll see the later stratagems. Also on the rerolls, while it's less likely, um, if they don't call out single dice on the reroll, they could say that the determining the number of attacks could be like rerolling all the determined number of attacks dice. Like if you have yep. 66, and like maybe you roll 30 something overall when you add them all up and you reroll it and you could get higher or lower but they're just going to force you to like average it out again. If, if you got a really is... bad average for some reason. Correct. And that's where we need a little bit of clarification. On the model or thing because there's a couple of arguments to make here the way it's worded maybe they're what they're saying is they're intending for you to roll you know if you've got six guns that are all a d6 shots you're supposed to roll a single d6 and that determines the number of shots for the whole unit and if that's the case then it makes sense that you're only re-rolling a single die and it doesn't really break too many rules it's just a, making an assumption uh, because then when you use the stratagem, you re-roll the single d6, and that changes all the shots for the whole um, And you just times it by six. Now, if the numbers are actually added together, like a single weapon with a profile of 60, well, now that you're forced to add them together, when you use the stratagem, you, in fact, are required to re-roll all six dice and get a new number that is added together. Um, again, there's, there's another argument here for... It does say model, so maybe argument of if you had, like, let's say a tank or a monstrous creature that had multiple, you know, like D3 guns or something like that. Uh, this stratagem could be interpreted to say that I'm going to reroll all the dice, all the guns, uh, multiple guns um, that aren't added together because I'm targeting a model and I'm going for that model. Again, I do think we need a little bit of clarification, um, but... As long as you own it, uh, kind of have a quick chat about it. If that actually shows up in your list uh, before the game, I don't think it's too big of a deal either way, as long as both players are playing with the same understanding of the uh, stratagem before you start. Yeah, I, I think so. I, we'll probably get clarification on it. The worst case I could think of is like an Imperial Knight with like two kinds of melt a gun and the battle cannon, so like. One's a D6, and one's 2D3, and one's a D3, and what a, mm -hmm. we'll see. I mean, those things are probably going to change too anyway, but. Yep. Um, like I said, there's there's a couple of different interpretations, um, but again, I think the biggest one to me is the fact that it says unit. Um, we have never had, across multiple editions, had a super clear answer from GW as far as, again, like a unit of Ludas. Do we roll one die and all of them get that number, or I roll a die per model, and then model could get a different number of shots. Um, that's usually come down to the tournament organizers, or back when we had a special tournament um, organizer um, group that we got our mission packs from instead of GW, uh, they kind of made that determination since GW didn't. Um, I think this is them trying to clear that up, and they seem, despite the little misses here and there, very determined this edition to really get it right when it comes to 
um, the, the rules interactions. So I imagine, like you said, that we are going to get an FAQ or errata on that pretty early, along with the other things that we for sure know that we're going to get an errata on. Okay, sounds good. On to the other stratagems, I guess. <laughs>